That's the one that just turned on mine. Oh, I probably spooked it. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes! Yes! Dude, that's a good fish! Well, good morning, everybody. I'm uh, trying to get going this morning. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in uh, northern Middle Tennessee. Fished Dale Hollow yesterday with Tyler. We're actually going to meet up and try to find a creek today. I actually just uh, pulled over to the side of the road to organize. I'm heading over. We're going to try to find a, a new creek. I never fished. Neither one of us has ever fished before. That's always fun. Yeah, now that I'm doing a lot of traveling and, you know, fishing a lot of places, even though this place is only uh, about three hours from where I live, I still stay in the back of my truck just to, you know, I don't have to, you know, get a motel or don't have to just drive all the time. Sleeping area over here, you know, fishing poles over here. Got a couple of bags and my wading bag I need to organize and go through. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes, organize everything, get ready, be geared up. Go meet up with him and um, hopefully this creek will be fun. Um, yesterday was like a gloomy day all day, but today's like a totally opposite. It's supposed to get up in the 70s. It's probably be a few weeks before I get this video out, but today's May the 1st. It's come, it looking really nice and hopefully we can find a new creek and have some fun. What are you fishing? Are you fishing seven footer? Six what nine, medium light. Okay. Oh, All right, we just pulled up to the creek. This is the spot. We, we, we've been driving around for a little while, and actually, I actually caught fish off this point down here like seven years ago when I used to live in the area. Never waited this creek. This creek looks awesome, so I'm not gonna give a lot more intro. We're gonna get right into fishing. That's the thing. These fish could be anywhere in the kind of spot like that. They could be hanging out right here. Oh, whoa, goodness. Yeah, watch that current. Dude, it is a lot deeper than it looks like. I'm trying to decide where to go up. Go right through the middle. It's really hard to tell how deep it is. And there could be jump. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Got him. Little bass. Uh, yeah. Boom, one fish already on. This this creek's gonna be on fire today, I think. Yesterday was like 55 and cloudy all day. Today is gonna be 70. It's gonna be really good. All right, this is spot number two. We went up the stream a little bit to find a little bit shallower area. It was really deep down there. I see a bass already. There's a smallmouth hanging out right there. Oh, this little spot's sitting on a bed over here. Come check this out. I'll see if I can give him a hit. I'll drop it in this bed. Here he comes. Got him. Got him. <laughs> yeah. He was he was on a bed. A little oh, sorry, buddy. A little spotted bass. He came back off. We could probably stand here and just sit here and watch and let fish come through. Oh, look, look, there's another Yeah. Oh, 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 look at the other bridge over there. Isn't that a fish on a bed over there? Oh, yeah, dude, that is. That's a good fish, too. I don't know if I can get him on him, but... See? Oh, wow, that smallmouth just turned on mine. Oh, I probably spooked it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you got that fish. Oh. Oh, oh, you got him. Hold on. Yep, cut down. Oh! Yes! Yes! yes. That was dude. awesome. Dude, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, yeah. That's a super good oh fish. Oh my, that was awesome. Look how dark he is. That is crazy. That was a, wow. one of the coolest catches. I bounced it off that wall. That's a two pound fish. For sure. Nah, I don't, I don't think it's that big. I do. <laughs> I don't, maybe. He was on a bed, I think, over there. You could barely see him. He's a pound and a quarter. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, I'll let him go real quick, but I'm pretty sure he was on a bed. Bounced it off that wall. Let it drift. I actually watched him eat it. We had to, I watched him eat it and set the hook. Up. Oh, the start. That was awesome. Dude, this, this, I bet this spot right here, there's so many. Oh, I got one too. Yep. That's a rock bass, I think. I'm about to hit that wall again. <laughs> look at this little, look at this little spot right here. There's so many fish in here. And a little smallmouth right in front of it. Here we go, here we go. I think he's looking at it. Come on. Come on. Can you see this one? There he is. 
<laughs> that was cool. I barely see this fish. These guys are strong fish. Look at that guy. Dude, the, the move was so worth it. We moved spots to go shallower. Such a good decision to move and come up shallower. That's a nice little fish right there. He was out, he came out of the shadow. There's, I think there's some stuff hanging around that shadows. It's, it's so, I've never like bed fished in the creek before. It's so cool, especially when those ones back there we saw. That was so cool to see. Yeah, that was awesome, sorry. It wasn't as big as yours. That one you lost was definitely bigger than that. There we go. Oh, good fish. There we go. Man, it took some work. I kept kept casting over there. Like they're they're not they're not hammering. That's a good bass. Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, nice fish. That's, about, that's probably close to the first one I caught today, or the first smallmouth I caught. That's a good one. He was on the. I thought I saw him go down the bank, and we just. I just kept casting over there. Kept casting over there. Finally got it. Like I, they gotta hit it. Man, I'm happy with that. That's that's like when I think of creek smallmouth, like a good one. That's just that's just a good creek smallmouth. Yeah. Let's put this one back in. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh yeah, 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 buddy. Hold on there. Hold on. Don't leave. Don't leave. Ah uh, no. He's he's all right looking. He's right up in this timber. Yeah, as soon as I dropped the lure in, he just turned away. He's... I think it's definitely going to be one of those you can't see. Oh, he's on a bed, I think. I think that's what it is. Is he really? I'll try to drop it in here. Oh, oh, there we go. There he is. Got him. You got him? Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's a super good fish. He, he, he was on a bed. I had to get it right on his bed. I'm just, oh, nice. Dude, this is, a, this is the biggest one. Shit, hold on. Okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, good fish. He didn't even look that big out there. Nice. That's a two-pounder. Oh, yeah. Probably close to it. That's a good fish. Oh, my. Look at this. Come here and look at this. What? Hold on. I hope they can see that. Mouth. Yeah, got a big old crawl in down in there. Good fish for sure. That's pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, got him. Nice. There's, there's another one. There was another one up there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, calm down. That's a good fish. He came out of there and was like drifting with it. Like it was as my lure was drifting. Oh, all of a sudden. Got on a couple good ones. A few good ones. Yes, sir. Getting that hug mite up in there and drifting it up in there. Another, another good little bass there. Oh, what is that? What is that? Rock bass? Is there another one? Oh. Oh, that's a rock bass. Oh, big old rock bass. Nice. Yes, we'll take it. We'll take you. Creek is definitely starting to look really good. It's been looking good. It's starting to get really good. Oh, uh, I might just go with the teeny R. Ooh, the creek hopper. Ooh, I haven't used a creek hopper in a while. Oh, we're gonna go back upstream and go back to the bridge. We're only maybe a mile downstream, I don't really know. 
And then um, we're gonna change it up and put some smaller lures on. I'm gonna use a little crick hopper kind of going back up. And uh, I think we're just gonna get some eat and then probably go to another spot. But I think we're gonna definitely catch some more fish today. <laughs> oh yeah, boom. <laughs> yeah, a little long ear. I saw two of them come and tag it. It's an awesome little fish. Yeah, they're turned on to the crick hopper right now. All right. Pretty little fish. And they're back in the water. And it's the and you can and when they do hit like that, you you don't know what you're gonna you can get all kinds of different sizes. And the, the bass, the bass at some point will hit that little lure. Right now they're just they're not. Oh, there we go. That one finally committed to it. Oh yes, this is a good one here. Really good colored one. Man, those things are so bright. It's crazy that these are just all over. They're not, they're not very much in East Tennessee, but they're all over Middle Tennessee. Oh dude, everywhere. They're in every creek I fish. All right, let's try to get underwater release this guy. They're so really colorful. Wow. Yep, second time I found a wallet at a creek. I saw it earlier. I didn't know what it was. What the heck? There was like five cents in there, but I lost that. What's in there? Well, I found a, I found a um, wallet for the second time at a creek. But this one is from uh, somebody that's actually got their name that's not old. Last one was like seven years old, so we might try to find this guy if there's anything in here worthwhile. Hold on, there's a giant smallmouth over here. Oh. Okay. I'm on. I'm trying to easy shiner now, but I think I think I'm gonna have to get right on his bed to get him to eat. There it is. Oh, that's not even the one I wanted. A rock bass. Good rock bass, but it's not the smallmouth I saw. Yeah, I'm, 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 this one here is just, he's just working and working the spot and the, uh, chasing everything off. Yeah, a big old rock bass right here. There, you got him. <laughs> rock bass have no trouble hitting. Dude, he's black looking. I think he was on a bed too. He looked like he was chasing something off. And I think when they get black like that, that's when they're, they're bedding, right? I don't know, but he's really black. That's cool. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Finally got him to bite it. Got him right in the middle of the bed. He just picked it up real quick. Tight. So I'll leave you alone. Well, you didn't get it very hard. Let's see. Let's see if we do it again. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, got him. You got the big one? Yeah. I got a little one. Nice. He got one over there. He got a good smallmouth over there. That one's on a bed, so. I'm getting right back in and go back to it. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, little small mouth. All right. Well, we were gonna go leave and go get lunch, but we came back to the bridge, bridge area over here. And um, we caught a couple already right there. And then um, up through here looks so good. So we're gonna go ahead and just fish this area. Yeah, I, I switched to the Easy Shiner and um, I got that one out of the bed and I've got a couple rock bass and then that guy hit it right off the bank. Nice little bass there. I'm walking up this bank, this, this area looks so good. Tyler's just going out the back bank. It's so wide and big in here, You could we can do that. We both work each side. 
Another rock bass on the easy shiner. spot in that drifting in there these spots are so pretty love catching them out of the creeks too so fun and aggressive <laughs> we, 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 well we said we're gonna stop here but every time we look up man it looks so good well let's put this guy back in there well I, I may just stand here and watch him and just hold it Cause he's not leaving, so I'm just gonna stand still. Hopefully, I have the camera on him. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, me and Tyler back there is walking away. We're about to head back to the truck. Um, we, we, uh, we, we, we looked up a new creek. Uh, we wanted to try something new, and, I, and some people had told me about one uh, in Middle Tennessee. And um, actually, I didn't know it, but I'd actually been here one time before, just fishing off the banks. First time I waited it, so we did one spot, moved, went to another spot, and um, this spot right here was was really good. Um, we had kind of high expectations for some good fish. But um, we definitely got some good smallmouth, and um, there were some there were stretches where we didn't catch that, catch that many. We, I'm not gonna tell. We're not gonna say the name of the creek. You know, I'm not gonna say the name of a lot of places. Some places I will if it's public places. Um, there's there really is a lot of them out there. You know, we we drove an hour almost to get to this spot. So you know, going going a little ways is part of it. Guess I'm gonna head back now, bro. Running down to Sonic or something because I'm starving. We're both starving, and uh, get some food. Thanks for watching.